okay, I have started my block weaving. Um, let's see. Ooh, so you can see it's a lot like, well, it is a double weave. Um, and except for this one also intersects vertically as well as horizontally, <coughs> which I was able to place the vertical intersections in my harnesses in the last video. And so now I'm just weaving along and intersecting horizontally when I see fit. Um, now for this sample that I'm doing right now, I'm doing a basket weave. So, ooh. these colors are so dull on the camera, they're like really bright in person. Well, that's kind of better, I guess. Um, so yeah, nothing really too fancy fancy in here, just a regular basket weave. Um, for the other one, I did a twill, which all, um, unfortunately, my loom kind of a butt head. There's a lot of petals, as you can see. Um, for the twill, I need all of them to be used. And the ones that aren't in use right now just don't like me. Um, all the little hooks keep sliding off of the harnesses and off of the pedals, and then they do. Let's see, do I have any extreme examples? Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, so here's what a hook should look like, and it has that thing on the end. Here's a hook. This was supposed to be the, yeah. So, um, yeah, this is what my limb does when it just doesn't want to use a pedal that I want it to use. So, needless to say, I will likely not be doing many more twills on this, well, at least, you know, double weave twills like this. Cause it's just disastrous. Um, I mean, it looks really good though, I think. Just was a pain to use them. And I only use those petals for this section right here. Oops. This length. And then this length. The rest of it was the petals that were completely fine, but. I think I spend as much time on this as I did this and that as I did that. So, they had to keep fixing the pedals. Um, so you can only do this sort of thing when you have 16 harnesses. When you have 8 harnesses, you can do a tabby weave and that's it. <laughs> um, but it can look really nice. This is one of my classmates. And I hope she doesn't mind that I'm showing everyone her weaving. But it looks really good, so kudos to you. Um, yeah. Additional. Yep. So, that's what hers looks like. Um. Anyway. So I'm just going to weave for a little bit so you can see how the um, layers work and everything and also to show that I am using you know, two yarns. Let's see, so this champagne color is for my purple layer, which you can see has this champagne color stripe there and then there. Um, and then pink for this layer. So, yeah, I'll just start weaving. Alrighty, so next I have my champagne. So I just like calling it champagne. Because I'm 21 now. 
and I can legally drink it. Um, is that other the red weed, I need to do that again. Or you just down there. So I'll just stick up an end so it doesn't just undo itself. So I did a few rows. I'm just going to show you again. Let's see. So you can tell. Let's see. On this one, I lifted up a layer, and you can say, "Oh, look! Here, all the pink is removed on this layer." And then, well, for this block, um, this block, all the pink is up, and then this one we have a pattern of purple up. And we have all the pink up on this block, pattern up on this block, which is the purple. Well, champagne, but whatever. I'm going to use those terms interchangeably. So just lifting this up, I can tell that I need to put my champagne yarn through. I know I should use a bobbin, but there weren't any empty ones for this yarn, so I'm just going to do this. Now, it, for this one, it is pretty easy to tell if you've lifted up the wrong um, shed. So I'll just lift up a different shed and tell 
let's see. It's not the one that I just put through. It doesn't want to come back up, really. Um, let's say that I lift this shut up, and then I put my pink through. easy to immediately tell that you put the wrong color through because um, it's showing up on blocks that it shouldn't and it's not showing up where it should. So on the back side, yep, you can see right there some pink where it shouldn't be. So just need to take that out. So you can see here, all the pink is lifted up, and the purple um, pattern layer, well, purple pattern is lifted up, and the whole pink layer is lifted up. So, for the correct one, I'm going to have all the purple lifted up, champagne, and then pink pattern. Pink pattern move. So. And then we'll slide that through. my camera drop. Uh, what are you doing, camera? There you go. Woo! Alrighty. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I've also gotten a little magazine I had to get some oil at um, my local yarn store for my spinning wheel. Because I got a spinning wheel. I totally haven't told you guys this, but I got a spinning wheel and it, oh, I love it. My parents are wonderful and got it for me. Anyway, um, see, this is hand woven um, November, December 2011 issue. Anyway, got it at the weaving store, and it has so many things on block weaving. Um, I don't know if it says... It even has how to thread your actual harness, which is awesome. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Shout out to my mama for Mother's Day. Um, get to see her tomorrow. And happy weaving.